North Korea says it successfully tested new long-range cruise missiles. It's the first known testing activity in months. The Korean Central News Agency says the missiles can hit targets more than 900 miles away and says the test meets leader Kim Jong-un's call to strengthen the country's military. CBS News Asia correspondent Rami Innocencio has more. And North Korea even said those missiles changed trajectories in mid-flight and did figure eights. It's not even clear if South Korea's military even saw those on their radar, which goes to show just how potentially sophisticated these missiles are. And state media showed pictures of those launches earlier today, one being fired from a launcher, the other in flight. They reportedly flew more than 900 miles, which means they can hit nearly any part of Japan. And Japan, of course, is the U.S.'s military cornerstone here in Asia. Asia. The launches come just days after North Korea celebrated the 73rd anniversary of its founding. That was just last Thursday, and we saw the normal scene of thousands of soldiers marching, but we also saw people marching in orange hazmat suits and gas masks. That's possibly a nod to the country's fight against COVID. And Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un himself even showed up, and he looked much thinner than at the start of this year. There had been reports he was in bad health and concerns that he's got no clear successor if he died. As for those new launches, UN sanctions don't forbid cruise missiles from being fired by Pyongyang, but only ballistic missiles because they can fly further and faster and they could potentially deliver a more powerful payload. But now the United Nations may be giving that all a rethink. Tanya? Ramey, thank you.